Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers review. God, I haven't done one of these in a very long time. Uh, today I'm taking a look at the almighty new offering from Excellent Toys. It's their 2013 offering. Straight off the back of their Devastator kit, we have the Ptolemy, which is CRM01. Basically their super deformed Optimus Prime. Taking a quick look at the box, very plain box. Just on the back there, we've got uh, it's bloody massive, a massive great box. Can't fit it all on the screen. It's basically saying, Yes, this is a kit which transforms. But on there, these are all the accessories you get inside. And just a warning this is for ages 15 and over. Uh, opening up, you get a tray filled with bits and a very, very awesome Optimus Prime. Here we have Optimus Prime as he comes out of the box. First impressions, I am extremely, extremely impressed with this guy. He is mighty, mighty, mighty robust and uh, an outstandingly well-sculpted little figure. Um, I actually thought he was going to be a lot shorter than what he is. I mean, he's standing... I'd say uh, size of a good deluxe. Let's just bring in uh, full of Cybertron Prime to give us a idea of scale. Uh, he's he's a pretty good scale, isn't he? He's actually probably better detailed than half of the uh, Hasbro stuff as well. Um, yeah, let's get rid of him. Great figure, all that he was, and uh, let's talk about Excellent Toys' latest offering. First of all. This is uh, based on the IDW Envision of Optimus Prime. It's got a articulated head, plenty of movement up and down, left and right. It's got articulated shoulders, slightly hindered by the shoulder pads, good joint on the elbow. You've got rotating fists, which I haven't pulled out, have I? Ah, there we go. Rotating fists, you've got... Uh, Swivel at the waist, got full rotation on the thigh, hindered slightly by the front um, of the fender, but you can move that up. Got a good bend at the knee and a crazy, crazy pivot on the ankles. Um, plastic quality, it's better than than Hasbro, that's, that's for certain. Um, it feels, uh, some, of, some of the parts like the uh, arm pads, etc., they feel slightly thinner than some of the latest third-party offerings from companies such as uh, pff, Fans Project, for example. Some of their stuff is quite thick and robust. Um, these don't feel like they're going to break. I mean, you know what I'm like. I'm terrible. Uh, I break everything. Uh, if it's breakable, I'll break it. Uh, I've dropped this guy twice, <laughs> and he hasn't broke. Everything holds together well. Um, he's just... A really nice looking piece. I was, I had my doubts, but I thought, no, I'm going to give this guy a go. And I'm really happy that I did. Uh, it comes like this with a few surprises. Let's get the gun out of his hand just to give me a little bit of extra room. What we want to do, we want to take off this, take off this, do the same with this side, take off one of those, take off this, take off this, then what do you want to do, you want to open up this, open up this, uh, pop his head off, let's take this off, okay, with the head, whilst I've still got the head off, slide open this section here, remove this faceplate, it's held in by a single clip. Then we want to bring in the alternative faceplate and just line that up. I'm trying to do that and knock over the camera. Uh, 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 right, that's nicely in there. Push that in, nice and firm. Again, nothing feels breakable, it all feels quite robust. <laughs> Who does that look like? Now we've got this chest open, we can grab the alternative neck piece. We can pop that on like 
that way? Is it the go that way? Possibly, or that way. We'll go this way, go that way. Push that in, like so. We can shut the chest up. We can pop the head back on, like so. Comes with optional wings as well. I'm going to remove those. I don't think they look very G1-ish. Oh, right, there we go. Come round to the shoulders. And which side is the front? Um, let's go for this side. There's a clip there. Nah, that way, okay. Shouldn't, it will only go one way to allow space for the arm. And then slides on like so. Come round to the other arm. And do the same over here. So only one way round, like that. Slide that on. Obviously these do not come sporting Autobock logos due to copyright infringement. You then got these additional arm plugs, which you can plug on. Uh, we'll get it right, won't I? That one goes on there, that one goes on there, and that plugs in like so. Let's do the same for this side. Bring in the arm piece and plug that on like so. Give it a good push so it plugs, plugs right in. There we go. <laughs> oh, he's getting there, isn't he? He's getting there. We then got his G1 style crotch piece, just basically pins on there. Do that same with uh, with either one of these you put in. Plug that in like so. Ah, these are wrong, aren't they? Oh, Ben, you doofus. I'm a doofus. I'm a doofus. I thought I'd got it right. Uh, na, 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 na. My trousers are too tight. Uh, na, 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 na. Super professional. <sighs> G1 Optimus Prime. Oh, I do like this guy. And um, we can uh, get rid of all these bits. I don't need any of these bits. Throw all these out of the way. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we can put his gun in his hand like so, just pegs in, and then we've then got the option of uh, grabbing yeah, this arm. It took me a while to figure this out basically. You need to rotate the hand round, and then you can pull it out. It's on a small peg there, which only fits in one way into the hole. So I was trying to force it, and I've now got some stress on that plastic. So be super careful, guys, because I can see if anything in this kit is going to break, it will be the hand. And uh, let's just plug this in again, upside down. Force it in, pull. There we go. The Autobots need you. Who doesn't want a prime with a pointing finger? Look at that de detail on this guy. Really, really nicely sculpted head. Nice paint apps there. I think there's a slight bit of bleeding on the glasses there. I don't know if you can see that. Really nice head. No movement in the ears. I thought there might be a little bit on the antenna. Love the, uh, kind of like the pins on the front there. Textured, really nice touch. Great chew of the abs. Yeah, could do with an Autobot logo, but that's where repro labels will come in. Really nice detailing throughout, really. Haven't missed a trick with this guy at all. Even so much as the jetpack, it's just a really nice added touch. Really solid figure. I know Hasbro have got one very similar to this at the moment. But it's a really fiddly kit, and in my opinion, doesn't look anywhere near as good as this little beauty. Just need kind of a Megatron to go against it, doesn't it? Well, do you think we'd be able to get a Megatron with, with a dual kit? 
thing is, G1 Megatron does look a lot different to uh, IDW Megatron, doesn't he? Well, I suppose this uh, depends on what interpretation of IDW Megatron you have, I guess. But anyway, yes, the next little uh, nice feature of this guy is... I'd like to say he transforms, but it's he's more of a parts forming, but it's still a nice little touch. So to do that, I'm going to turn these hands around so they will unplug and pull them out like so. Then you want to push this section here back into its like retaining house. Pull this off. And let's do the same with this arm. So pull the smokestacks off. Come around to the hand. You want to rotate it and oh, pull the hand off and pull, push that inside like so. I'll pop his head off, take it all off like that. Bumper, just kind of grab him at the crotch and just slide that out. And there's a back bumper as well. You want to remove this section. Again, it's all plugged in really nicely. Uh, yeah, let's take these bit off. And this bit off here. And when I got to this stage, uh, when I first tried this, that really struck me as being like almost like the classics prime body. Looks very, very similar in my opinion. Very, very similar. But you want to move this section up, move it up out of the way there. These shoulders can then kind of fold in and pull around like so and push in. So you need it to look like this. So let's do the same on this side. Push it in there. Push it round. Uh, like so. And then... Says, as he makes a complete bodge job of that. Uh, <laughs> look at that. Seamless. Absolutely seamless. You then want to spin his waist around, like so. Come round to the feet. Move the foot down to that position. Then rotate the toe section. Just the toes. So pull the foot down and lock this bit down. And then rotate the toes. So you're left with those like that. Then lift this section up this section up. These should, in theory, plug together. They're connected there. And you can then rock this section on the thighs. Oh, there we go. Just pull that open, haven't I? Oh, there we go. Super. I love it when a plan comes together. Pull that back, pull that back, and just square everything up. Then fold that forward and that forward. Then come and bring in the additional front section that comes with your prime. And plug that in over those ball jointed dies like that. And that side oh, until it clicks in. There we go. Coming around to the side housing, grab the sections that formed the arm pads on IDW Prime, plug those onto the side of the cab, like so, forming the door sections, starting to come together. You then place the spoiler on like so. And yeah, there we have it. There we have a very, very IDW-esque Optimus Prime. Now, I've had a few people comment on my uh, Facebook already and saying to me, ah, oh, is that the uh, Toy World one? Is it the Toy No, it's not. Um, but it's a really good representation of IDW Prime's truck mode. It's very well sculpted. It looks very, very much in scale with the deluxe figures. Um, I mean, that's a good... 
a good 12 inches now. It's a, it's a good, I don't know, like five and a half inches long. And it's it's a good, good figure. I mean, that'd fit in perfectly with the classics if you were doing uh, just a vehicle display. Uh, if Toy World can do an IDW vehicle, anything remotely like this, then they are doing a sterling job. Excellent toys really set the bar, in my opinion. Um, considering this is a super deformed parts former, um, they've done a really good job at creating a very, um, very imposing, very cartoonesque, comic book accurate Optimus Prime. Um, very happy with this piece. Very glad I got it. Uh, I know various places are stocking this. I bought this direct from Excellent Toys themselves, but I know places places like uh, Captured Prey they're selling it. It's uh, it's the same price. So it's I think it was eighty dollars. I think. Um, anything this lacks, I don't know if I'll be able. To, I might be able to open the windows with the uh, the cab cab section there's no matrix there's no matrix of leadership i'd like them to have done a small matrix in the pack just so you can have it there uh, i don't know maybe if they do do a mega doo -doo. <laughs> i said doo, doo maybe if they do a megatron figure they could include a matrix so we could uh, we could have that figure um supporting his matrix as well and then maybe kind of like the hand could grip it or something just just a handle to plug in but yes I'm very, very happy with this, and I'm glad to be doing Transformers reviews again. I've got a few more to come as yet, as well as my 80s um, revival of awesome toys. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope this has been an insight to you, and go and buy this. It's all manner of awesome. Take care. Goodbye.